Well, thank you. And we wanted to know if the gear firefighters are using to protect themselves has changed. InnoTex, who provides the personal protective equipment for AFD, says their wildfire gear has not changed much in history because of the needs while battling a fire like this. However, gear used during other fires has seen what they call the most significant upgrade in years. And Jim uh, joins us with more on this. Yeah, I went out there today to find out what is different with this new airflow padding. It's a little more breathable. It gives you a little bit more room, flexibility uh, compared to the older ones. Uh, obviously, durability is also an issue. Every little bit helps when it's really that hot and you're working really hard. So if your body's relaxed a little bit more, you can last a little bit longer. Exactly, because it's, it's breathable. I mean, a few extra minutes for, with you guys being out there before you got to take a break could be critical, right? Correct. Every minute counts. Every second counts. What is it like out there right now for you guys? Extremely taxing. You know, like immediately, you're going to feel extra hot, you know. Um, I don't know. What, what do you think? It's kind of a shock to the system at first. When you get out there, you go from the AC out there, and especially going to a fire, running up and down the stairs. You know, it can, it can hit you like a ton of bricks if you're not prepared for it. And, um, you have to be mentally ready. That jacket there is called a, a turnout or, or a bunker gear for the firefighters, and that airflow padding gives more space between uh, their back and the air tank, and that gap makes those uniforms more breathable, helps their core body temperature uh, stay down a little. Airflow is made of perforated foam and Kevlar.